Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Kevin and today in the mail I received a calorie diesel heater. This diesel heater can be used whether you're car camping, whether you have a trailer, a tent, um, a tiny cabin, a small room, something like that. Um, this is a way to get heat off the grid. Minus the power source, this is one complete standalone unit. This is the box that it comes in, calorie diesel air um, car parking heater. So there's are different types of uses for it. You can even power cabs of tractors, I guess, if you're uh, out in the Midwest in the, in the snow or something like that. But it comes in instructions. Uh, don't bother with these. They're uh, really poorly translated, and it didn't tell you how to do uh, basically anything. So you can kind of just throw those away. Um, some leftover pieces. Um, this is the hose that it wants to shoot the heat out in, whether you're using a tent or whatever. It's pretty much useless. That's all you get. It does not expand or anything. I would go to Home Depot, buy an insulated hose, and you can pretty much just channel that air wherever you want it. But um, let's go ahead and just push this off to the side. This is the unit. It's the size of a little briefcase. This is inside of it. Got your actual air heater. You have your um, exhaust hose right here exhaust line going out this is your air coming in clean air gets heated up right here and it gets shot out right through there got your green fuel line diesel fuel coming in goes to a little inline filter you got a little fuel pump inside there and then it ignites and creates some heat you have storage in there you can actually store power cables and um, the little vent hose and little things like that can actually get stored in there just to make sure it's cooled down looking at the front of the unit you have an air filter air hose going in you have a nice lcd screen right here adjustable uh, fan speed or uh, temperature right there um, power cable power cable right there it did get supplied with a, a power cable over here is the diesel tank it just bolts on the side now the instructions did not tell you how to do any of this. If you're mechanically inclined, you can probably figure it out by looking at a picture or two, but it doesn't tell you. You are gonna have to drill a hole into this tank. You are gonna have to put together um, the little spout right there for the fuel. You're gonna have to put the fuel line on. Back here is where the hot air comes out. This is the exhaust right here. Unfortunately, my kit, didn't come with, uh, well, any instructions on how to do this. It also did not come with any fittings or anything. So um, both of these were the same diameter. And uh, looking at other pictures and stuff like that, I tried to force it on there and you can kind of see what happened, but there is no way to connect these two pieces. So that's the only dilemma I have right now. This thing started right up, works well. Didn't really have any issues with it running. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Now I have the diesel heater plugged into my rock house. Go ahead and turn it on. It's at 99%. All right, we'll go ahead and push the power button. It's on. Start heating. As you can see right there, it said start heating. If you're filling this up for the first time, if fuel's not all the way in this line, it'll start priming itself with the fuel pump. It'll actually suck the diesel fuel all the way into the uh, fuel pump and everything. So I've already started this, so the fuel is already up at the fuel pump. Since I don't have the exhaust on there, I just have to make sure it's not pointing at anything that's gonna melt. But for the time being, since I don't have it on there yet, it'll be just fine. If you can hear that clicking, that's part of the startup process. And you can hear the fan spinning higher and higher. Got a little bit of air coming out. You can definitely smell uh, diesel fumes. Kind of hard to tell but there are fumes coming out 
Smells just like a diesel truck would. It's been running for about four minutes right now. We'll go ahead and just hit the uh, heat right there. 112 degrees, still warming up. Just to give you guys an idea how much power this uses, it ranges between 30 and 140. About 140 watts when it's starting up and between 30 and about 60 right now. Uh, just maintaining it. We're going on about 10 minutes right now, so I'll go ahead and hit the temperature again. 132 degrees, and just for the heck of it, I'll hit the exhaust. Four hundred and sixty seven degrees. Here's my thoughts on the calorie diesel heater. Instructions, absolute garbage. There's a couple pictures on there, some screenshots um, that'll help you if you happen to have a problem. But as far as assembling this thing, putting it together, they're, they're absolute garbage. So the best thing is to just find a YouTube video that someone did assembling this and you can kind of figure it out on your own. If you're mechanically inclined, that's even better. The hoses are absolute garbage. So what I would do is I'd go to Home Depot, buy some quality hoses. The hose clamps, the nuts, bolts, all that stuff, um, really good, but the actual hoses are garbage. The exhaust pipe, I'm thinking maybe this is like a pre-production model. Maybe this may, it just wasn't uh, put together correctly or they didn't send me the right parts. Um, hopefully all the newer ones um, come with the exhaust that you can just um, put together really quick. Otherwise you're gonna have to um, fabricate something like I'm gonna have to. Outside of that, this is the third time that I've actually let this thing run. It's always started up first try. Um, I've never had a problem like starving for fuel or anything. This, it's been the same sequence every time. Uh, you put power to it, push the on button, it'll start talking to you in English. Um, well, that, that was pretty nice, I haven't heard that one before. Um, but yeah, it'll say starting up, you know, heating up and stuff like that. So it'll tell you that it's working and you can actually hear it um, starting up. You can hear the fuel pump, fuel pump clicking and you can hear it ignite and all that stuff. So um, it seems to be a good unit, very fuel efficient. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that little tank over there full of diesel fuel will last like eight to 10 hours or even more. Um, doesn't use a lot of power. Like I said, starting, I think it went up to like 140 watts. And once it was running, I don't think I went over 60. It dropped down to like 30 and 40 um, at the lowest. Um, as far as quality goes, um, these things are still pretty new on the market. This one it came from Amazon of all places. And once you type in diesel heater on Amazon, there's all kinds that pop up. Um, but Calorie seems to be a pretty good brand. They have a bunch of different models. Um, this is their like briefcase model or um, something like that. They have other models that are taller and bigger. Some have like legs to stand on and stuff like that. But um, this probably would be the best one if you're into camping. It's a little more rugged. There's not a whole lot of stuff on the outside other than that screen that can really get damaged. Um, all these hoses, the air intake, the exhaust, all that comes off, you can actually store it inside um, the case. Um, there's room for all that. Because actually whenever it comes in the cardboard box, everything is actually inside the case already. So I know for a fact it all fits in there. Um, you're just gonna have to make sure it's all cooled off. Make sure the exhaust isn't hot, that way you don't melt the fuel line and then you get diesel fuel leaking all over your vehicle or, and stuff like that. It did come with a keychain, so if you are in a tent, if you're in a trailer, your car, a tiny cabin, a small room, something like that, you can actually control the diesel heater from, uh, from the remote. So you don't have to go outside and unplug it and stuff like that. Um, I would just top it off with diesel fuel, make sure you have a good power source, make sure your battery bank is fully charged for using a battery bank, otherwise um, you can use a 12 volt socket from like a vehicle or um, convert it to 120 or something like that. But outside of that, it seems to be pretty decent. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I am in Florida, so we haven't really hit uh, really cold winter yet. Um, it's December 5th and it was like 80 something degrees today. So hopefully in the next month or two, we get some cold snaps and I can take this thing out and uh, show you guys actually using it inside the camper or the rooftop tent. If you have any questions, let me know. I wanna say these models start around $125 and go up to uh, the mid 200s. Um, but I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. I don't work for these, this company. Um, they don't pay me to do this. Uh, they did send me the product and I'm gonna give you an honest review. Um, like I said, the hoses and stuff like that, absolute garbage. I would go to Home Depot or your local box store, get some good hoses, an insulated hose that'll stretch from this unit to wherever you're sleeping in. That'd probably be the best bet to keep that heat trapped in that hose that way in your rooftop tent or whatever. Um, you got some 100 degree plus heat coming in.
But uh, thank you guys for uh, watching this. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful.